This week we focus on environmental issues. Stay with us for the new Watch Dig. We start with the European Union. Parliament's Consumer Protection Committee approved the draft of the proposal for the better products labels regarding the environmentally friendly products. This means that the EU will prohibit general product labels such as eco or natural. I always wonder how products that aren't natural actually look like. Hmm. This EU push is in accordance with the adoption of a new proposal on ruling the repair of goods. By the EU Commission proposal, which is now almost official, consumers from the European Union will have the right to claim repair from producers. Finally, finally, in the near future, EU consumers will have a chance to repair their devices rather than throwing them away just to buy the new one which doesn't make much sense. The global organization Greenpeace is in a campaign to change the code behind the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. This algorithm behind the security of the Bitcoin network uses the 24-7 work of specialized graphic cards, ASICs, which consumes large amounts of electricity. Similar to data centers, Greenpeace is arguing for less energy use and ask artist Benjamin von Wang to create artwork that will warn the public about electricity used for Bitcoin mining. While Von Wang is a renowned modern artist working on the environmental projects, and in this case, man, he delivered. He created the artwork called The Skull of Satoshi, and it's, it's so good that it became the favorite thing for both promoters and opposers of the Bitcoin mining. One of the opposers of the Bitcoin mining is the current US administration, which actually proposed a special environmental tax for Bitcoin mining. Do you like the skull of Satoshi? Tell us in the comments. We spoke with the philosopher Jean-Jacques Rousseau, the greatest mind of the so-called age of reason. <laughs> we might need that age again. Yes, he used the eye magic to send us a few important messages. Check it out. Read more in-depth analysis and more updates on our Digital Watch Observatory, which is dig.watch. And see you next week.